So now that we've put all the components in, this is probably the hardest part, which is debugging. Um, step one is to make sure, because we're using tape that has adhesive on the bottom, the adhesive itself is an insulator. And so one of the first things you have to do when you're debugging is see how this one's all scratched up. Make sure to sort of scratch any overlaps so that we push some of the adhesive around and we make sure we do actually have metal to metal contact. All right, another place to check if you're debugging is down here. Uh, the outside of our battery is in fact metal. It's covered in some paint, so it should be insulating. But if you have the battery touching that side and that side uh, through the housing, then we might have a short circuit. So, uh, And then the other place where we have a big area of failure is right here. Uh, a lot of the times if you push down you know, you're working with this, the LED is poked through, so it will pop up, and then it won't have any metal to metal connection. All right, uh, one other thing, you should make sure that the entire, around each of your holes is completely covered in tape. Uh, that way you can touch anywhere on the operation game with the tweezers, and it should all, this entire loop around each hole is ultimately connected to right here, and then the tweezers close the switch when they touch from any of the inside of the hole and then the other side of the tweezers connected there. Okay? All right, I will help you with debugging, but it's certainly the hardest part. Okay, let's continue.
I'm a pickle. I'm pickle rich.